that those are the five notes in two horizontal octaves of D minor pentatonic. On Sunday, I had this breakthrough, personal breakthrough on guitar playing, which I feel, and maybe it's a breakthrough for my brain. He's um, playing three notes per string pentatonic, but thinking in terms of linking the five positions in, in one vertical octave. First, I had to get used to this first position with that tricky interchange. I find it tricky. And then I want to move to position two. See, it is tricky. And I'm finding that this is opening up my mind and my hand. Sorry, I wasn't concentrating. I wasn't concentrating there for a moment, but I'm very new to this. I have been working on um, three notes per string uh, licks. Um, for around, um, for around uh, six months now. Not as often as I should, obviously, but I, but I'm, I'm going to encourage you um, to get into it because I'm seeing a dramatic change in my thinking and and slowly in my ability. In that, even though I might not be in a running road fashion, um, three notes. See, I've got a minor in my head, but anyway, whatever I've got in my head, um, I might not be executing it. Uh, because I'm talking correctly, because I'm talking. But I'm feeling like my brain is going into autopilot when I do play solos, that I'm not thinking about what notes I'm going to hit or where I'm going to put my hand rather, but rather I find my hand is following the command from my brain. If there's a sound in my brain, my, my hand's going there a lot faster. And especially when I'm interchanging notes and, and moving up and down the fretboard and I'm able to get there a lot quicker without even thinking about it. And you know, once I've got these patterns in my muscle memory, can you... So I call that an awkward pattern, but can you imagine when I get these patterns in my in my muscle memory, what, what could... What could happen, even though I'm not actually playing three notes per string patterns always, I'm finding that rock and roll is becoming very, very simple to play. In fact, it's, be, it's, it's bordering on a point of boredom where I'm playing alone because it's like, it's becoming too easy. Now, I know you're going to criticize me and say, oh, there's not enough soul or not enough rock in it. And, but I'm going through a metamorphosis at the moment. So if you could just be with me, because I can see clearly um, there's almost fusion-like influences. Like, but there's nothing wrong with that. If you think of the late Tommy Bolan, he, he, he was a rock guitarist, but there was a definite element of jazz or fusion in his playing. And, and that was not necessarily the mainstream in the early and mid 70s. Sadly, he died at 25, but um, can you imagine what a guitarist he would have turned out to be? Uh, he already did turn out to be a brilliant, one of my favorite guitarists of all time at the age of 25 when he passed away sadly. Um, so behave yourselves, just but do everything in moderation, okay? Yes. And uh, accept, throw yourself at this instrument as hard as you can and as much as you can because it will reward you. Have a great day.